about this, okay. Uh, just now peaking to zero dB. Uh, level or gain looks okay. ALC looks all right. And uh, I'm not running any of the uh, c uh, compression at all. Yeah, you don't need it anyway. I'm, uh, hello. Yeah, I don't have any red lights going here on compression. Hey, um, I do have some limiting, though. And that is a form of compression, I suppose. Um, let me think, though. Let's get back to your situation. Okay, you lifted, no go. So the power for this one microphone system is a three-prong AC plug, eh? Over? Uh, actually, no. On the uh, one that I'm on now, it's a powered Jabra headset, a uh, wireless headset. And uh, it just uses a, a wall warp type of adapter. And I am going through a, a line isolator on the mic, which is essentially just a little one-to-one -one transformer. So with yeah, that okay. Said, uh, Thinking I that might be the uh, location the, for the uh, RFI. Input on um, the, uh, very uh, interesting. I'm just interested, always interested in insulation. Whatever. And... Uh, in fact, right now I'm uh, um, Gordon. I'm uh, fighting an RFI problem. I have 15, 12, and 10 meters, and it is bizarre. I have fought RFI my whole life and won. I, I haven't lost yet, but this one is challenging me. I've done antenna tests, AC tests. Uh, the three areas you go over there. Um, antennas, audio, and AC are the three A's, and that baby's got to be coming in somewhere, and I thought I had it trapped, but uh, I didn't. I still had the problem when I went up and checked. More work to come later. Now, in your situation, I still think, because, of, because it's so light, you know, I don't suspect your antenna. Usually when it was like this with me, it wasn't the antenna. It still, it had to do with the powering of it. Now, I take um, alligator jumpers. They're two feet long, alligator, big alligator clip on each end. And I jumper, chassis to chassis, one at a time, trying to find the path. Over. Okay, uh, what are you, you're jumpering from like the amplifier to the chassis of the radio to the chassis of your microphone equipment and so forth? Yeah, you got it. All you got to do is crank up the system and then uh, go back there and put your alligator clip against these different connecting points and you just yell out because you'll modulate enough. You'll get RFI. No, you won't. Yours is slight. No, you're going to have to check it in the seated position. I, I have my problem so dramatic, I can be three feet from the mic and go, hello, and I get SDR feedback. <laughs> you know, oh, wonderful. And I'm getting yeah. it at 10. I don't know. Well, I'm going to have to study on this. So this is kind of good. Maybe put some more there has noise, to be but I'm not sure where I don't decided. have any already. Hello, testing. This is KW4EX. And that's it. You record it. 
when you play it back on the peaks, you should hear that noise that I'm talking about. And it's not dramatic either. Over? Okay, well, I just turned the recorder on, and we'll just see what it sounds like. This is KW4EX testing for uh, echo or feedback. Well, that did not turn out so well. Uh, you didn't get any feedback? Uh, no, I, I, I just, everything was distorted on the recorder. I must not have it set up right ever since I uh, redid the setup. To eliminate the stuff, I've changed all the profiles. I'm going to have to go back through and check all the settings. <laughs> oh, boy. A little bit of homework there. Um, what you're chasing here could be any little thing. I, I had success grounding from uh, PC chassis to linear chassis, sometimes linear chassis to transceiver chassis. And one time it was both. But you would think they're grounded in the standard paths, but apparently there is something going on where the shorter direct ground takes over and solves the problem. It's uh, just something I want to share with you. Um, AC, I've always had to isolate the audio. That's just my situation. And um, I try, I use a couple toroids, but I try not to load down the uh, DC line from the main power supply um, with a lot of chokes, you know, because... If it's getting an output that has, I'll put scope on it, and it's got a lot of RF, don't blame the power supply. Blame what's feeding it. Over? Yeah, there's one other thing that I can try. I've got two antennas connected to the output of the amplifier, and, of course, I'm only talking on one. However, you know, it, it could be that I'm picking up some overload from the outside antenna that I'm not using. In fact, I'm going to disconnect that. Yeah, go ahead, because it only takes a moment. Yep, it's done. I just pulled the plug on that antenna. Did that make a difference? Well, I haven't heard it so far. You have to go a little bit. Uh, over. Okay, this is KW4EX testing again, and I've eliminated one of my antennas that's connected into the shack. Good God, it's not there. Okay, that's an interesting dilemma. Um, yeah, unless you do remote switching and, and see if that helps some a couple feet away, you know, coax. Um, the internals, apparently there's coupling, over. Well, that's what I'm wondering. Uh, it could be that there is some coupling between the two antennas in the back on the input of this KPA 1500. Yeah. Yeah, luckily, if you do have some feedback, the antenna's impedance probably at those levels is pretty high. Uh, um, and the majority of all your power is going into the other antenna. Um you just, it's just trickling back somehow. On the shield, no doubt, over. Yeah, the one thing that I could do is put some toroids on the patch cable that connects that secondary antenna. I've done it here. I've done it all. You've got to do it. I use J-type ferrites, and um, you could use 31, but J-types are more powerful. They have an incredible AL uh, reading uh, value, I should say. I'm trying to remember where I got them for. Was it Palomar? Maybe uh, Palomar. But uh, anyway, um, number 31s are good, too. Uh, I, uh, you don't need a lot of turns, either. I don't know what coax you have, but I get four to five turns because I use LMR 240. Over. Yeah, this is a uh, 400 uh, soft equivalent. It's not the actual LMR, but um, I, I've got some uh, 240 31s 
um, I can probably get three or four turns through there without any problem. I hate anything, anything. Three turns is...